hello welcome to my channel today this is a king's tutor the first time i'm joining us thank you for clicking to this ensure you like comment share and subscribe to the channel and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for your support thus far okay now we're on different social media handles we're on facebook on instagram on tiktok please ensure you follow us on those handles just follow us and indicate that you're following from the youtube or you're following from the facebook um to this point okay now today we want to continue our series on the issue of shares okay so we've done um, a previous video on issue of shares i'll drop it up here i'll drop in my description we have done different videos and also solve various difficult questions on issue of shares though where we stopped um why um, doing the series is shares payable in full on application now we said if they pay in full on application this is how the procedure will be it means that the um the firm in question is getting the um amount for their shares in full while the um applicant is still applying why they're applying they pay the full amount of the shares okay now the second part we want to see is shares payable by installment by installment it means that um uh, the, the amount is paid instrumentally. The, um, the firm in question gets this amount bit by bit. Okay, so it can be um, the first part, they might take the first part on application, the second part on allotment, the um, third part on a first call, on a second call, on a third call, as the case may be until they exhaust the word, the payment. Okay, so we want to get into that briefly. The method at which the the uh, the firm is going to um, bypass the procedure they will take when it comes to what installment. Okay, so the first one will not be that is the procedure will be applications are received with applications are received with the money. <coughs> talked about this before that once the um, applicant want to apply they should um they should write an application that they want to become a part owner of the company so the first procedure even by installment is that it starts with what application so definitely if for instance the shares is um let's say one naira now they can divide this one naira into the different procedure now they can say um you pay 0 0.50 on application then 0 0.10 on allotment then this is 60 Kobo, then another fan on first call, that's 70, another fan on second call, then another 10 Kobo on third call. Now, if you do this, okay, 60, 70, 80, 90, now another fan on fourth call, depending, okay? So if you do this and add everything, it equates to what? The one error, which is what the issue price, okay? So that is what we mean by what installments, getting bit by bit. But if it is a full payment in full on application, it means that they're going to pay this one error while they are still what applying, okay? So now the first uh, the procedure, the first part is application um, are received with the money. Now the second part is they are treated and shares are allotted okay that's the second part they are treated and shares are what allotted okay so the third part would is c excess application money are refunded to unsuccessful applicants okay now what it means is that there are some persons that might not make it probably like um come late but why applying okay so we've seen over subscription and under subscription okay so there are some persons that might not um make it probably um the set of people the firm wants is exhausted so the unsuccessful applicant they'll have to what, refund them back their what their money okay so that is the the c now the third part they might do is that excess application is made on prorata basis on the allotment payment okay so the d which is the fourth one is that most time the excess application money is also made or in prorata basis based on those um the allotment is should be made on okay so most i say two by three or um three by four or three for every four 
or two for every three okay so that is the fourth part why the fifth part that might appear is allotment money are received or balance okay so allotment money are received or balance are the first the fifth part y for f first call money is requested and received also second call money is requested and received okay so first call money is requested and received and also second call money if, or third call money okay depending on the structure of the company so these are the procedure for instrumental basis and this can apply for all the um, different mode of issuing either at spa either um, at um, a discount or at a premium okay so we're going to see them one after the other and see an example that also relates to them now remember while preparing this we're going to prepare each of the account application account allotment account um the first call account the second call account the bank account that is received from and also the ordinary share capital account most time they merge the application and allotment accounts together and sometimes it can be splitted so don't get worried when it comes to that okay we are going to see how that is being done okay so now in this situation when shares issued at par and what will not be the entries shares issued at par of course we'll talk about this when the issuing price and the um, face value are uh, the same okay so when the shares is issued at par now how do you record it on basis of instrumental basis okay when they get the money by installment now how do we do this so first one is on receipt of application money on receipt of application money like we've said in the previous video so it is to debit the bank because the bank is receiving it account and you what your credit the what the application account okay so we've done that before so that's on receipt of application money then on the allotment remember we want to allot based on the uh, application money that was received so it will not be debit application account and you credit the ordinary share capital account okay so that is for a then for b now since they've paid the mid um, um payment based on the application and like i said before there are some that might not be successful that is unsuccessful applicant so what do they have to do they have to what refund back the money okay the firm have to refund back the money so it will not be on some refunded to unsuccessful applicants so what will that be the it will not be debit the application account because the application is not taking it back so you now credit the bank account okay so the bank account will be credited okay so for the c it will not be excess application money retained in account of allotment okay like we say here there are some excess application money that will be made on prorata basis okay so how would that be now it will not be so you debit the application account 
and you credit the allotment account. So in some question, they might call it set off. Okay, a set off. Okay, so that is for C. Then for D, it will not be on allotment money received. I want to receive money on allotment, so it will not be debit the bank account and you credit the allotment account. Okay, so the next one. Okay, so the next one will not be on allotment of shares. On the allotment of shares, so it will not be debit the allotment account and you credit the ordinary share capital account. Okay, so it will be credit the ordinary share capital account. Now, uh, the next one, E, it will not be when the call money is received. Okay, it might be first call or second call, third call, it is still the same thing. Okay, now the call is when the firm is not calling them to watch some command pay. So when the call money is received, the same thing, you debit the bank account, then you credit the call account, either the first call or the second call. Okay, then it will not be on making a call that is based on allotment. So it will not be, you debit the call account and you credit the ordinary share capital account, okay? So you credit the ordinary share capital account. So these are the accounting entries when it is done by installment and shares issued at par. So we are gonna see a question now that relates to how we, get, we are gonna solve this, okay? So let's see this question. Now let's see the question. And the question said, VAC Limited issued 20,000 ordinary shares of one era each, payable as follows. 10K, that is 10 Kobo, please. As 10 Kobo on application, 20 Kobo on allotment, 40 Kobo on first call, 30 Kobo on second call. Now, it said, applications were received for 31,000 shares. A refund of money is made in respect of 1,000 shares. That means... They receive application, please. They, these are the notes you should be taking care of, um, note of. The 1,000 shares were applied. They made a refund of 1,000 shares, okay? Now, said so for the remaining 30,000 shares applied for, an allotment is made on prorata basis. They are allotted on prorata basis. That is two shares for every three persons, okay? That's remaining 30,000. So two shares for every three persons. So they said the excess application money are set off against allotment money. So that's a set off. And I said the remaining request installments were paid in full. That's the remaining were paid in full. Show the ledger entry. Now, before we show the ledger entry, there's um, a brief work we're going to do. Okay? Like an adjustment. Very important. You do this. Okay? So we have solution. Solution. Now the first thing we're gonna do is the application. Let's know the application that was received. They said that 1,000 application was received. Remember, they're gonna pay on application 10 Kobo. Okay, so it will not be total application money. It will not be, they received 31,000 application. So it will be 31,000 times 10 Kobo, which is 0 0.10, okay? So that 1,000 times 0 0.10 will give us 3,100, okay? So 3,100 is the amount for total application. Number two, the second one would not be, now they said, for the remaining 30,000 shares applied for, an allotment is made on prorata basis of two shares for every three. Two shares for every three persons. Okay? Because they say it mainly is 30,000. So it will not be on prorata basis for two shares 
for every three persons. So it will now be the application on allotment. So it will now be, remember the um, issued 20,000 shares. So it will be 20,000 times the application money again, which is 0 0.10. Okay, so this will give us 2,000. So this is two for every three. Okay, two or four every three. Now there's another way you can also get this. Now you can you may either do um since they say two shares for every three, so you may either do two over three times thirty thousand shares. So if you do that, this will still give us two thousand. Okay, so that's the other way you can do that so that's the second one now the third one is the refund refund now they made a refund now they said a refund of money is made in respect of 1000 shares okay and this refund will be based on the application because they paid on application that was ss so it will not be 1000 times 10 0 0.10 to give us 100 okay so that's for third number four after the refund they now move to allotment remember they can only allot the amount of shares that was issued so it will now be 20,000 times an allotment money 0 0.20 which is what 4,000 okay so that's the fourth one the next one now the fifth one will be now remember here they said the excess application money are set off against allotment now let's see the, how they come about the excess application money they said it was set off against allotment now if you remember that they got 31,000 31,000 So the so application got in was 31,000. Now they refunded 1,000. So it will not be less refunds 1,000. So what will be here is 30,000. Now out of the 30,000, they made on prorata basis 20,000. So, so it will not be less prorata, which is 20,000. Okay. So the remaining 10,000 will not be the excess application money. Okay? So it is now this 10,000 times 10, 0 0.10, which will give us 1,000 error. So this is the amount of a set of against allotment. Okay? So that is how to get the excess application. So the next one will not be the total allotment money and total allotment money will not be the allotment here that was calculated which is 4000 minus the excess application and allotment the set of 1000 so 4000 minus 1000 will give us 3000 okay so that's the total allotment money why the seventh one the first score First call, the first call will be on the shares issue. That's 20,000 times 0 0.40. Okay? Now, 20,000 times 0 0.40 will give us 8,000. Why? Each one is the second call, which is still 20,000 times. 0 0.30 this will give us 6,000 okay so so this is the adjustment that is needed okay so now let's start preparing the ledgers so the ledgers now will not be the bank
So th that's the bank. So uh, please, I'll have to clean this part. So ensure you um, can screenshot or you post the video and write this down. Okay. So um, let's just get this. So this will be education account. Okay. Um is allotment. So this is a first call. So this is a second call. and the ordinary share capital okay the ordinary share capital okay so the ordinary share capital now let's start posting now from the onset it says that they received application of 31000 um uh, that one thousand okay so it means that application gave to bank somewhat thirty one thousand and the bank received it from application that one thousand okay so now when they did this there was a refund okay a refund was made so they refunded um one thousand so, refunded back to this. It will not give us 100. So, it was received back from bank at what? 100. Okay. So, the next part now also will be on. So, please, this is 3 1. This is 3,100. 3,100. Okay, so the next one now also will be the allotment on the what the shares on application. Okay, the allotment of shares. So it will not be um, ordinary share capital at this. Look at this application allotment two thousand. So it will not be on application. I'm giving to application two thousand. So application is receiving it as ordinary share capital two thousand. Okay, so that is that. Now the next one will be on allotment money. Okay, on allotment money that was paid. So, okay. so allotment paid to the bank. So the allotment was four thousand plus. But removing the set of allotment that was paid to the bank, it was now three thousand. So right here, the bank three thousand. Okay, so the bank will receive it here as what. On allotment, three thousand. Okay, so from this now, the next one said the excess application money was set off. Okay, as application was set off against allotment, so it will not be here. Um, application one thousand. So it will come here as set off an application also. An allotment, sorry, allotment 1000. Okay, so now this will now sum up to be 4000. So our ordinary share capital, our ordinary share capital will now be 4000, which is the allotment money 4000. So we'll come here. So it should not be here on allotment four thousand. Okay, so that is that. So the next one would not be now. Also, if we add up this part, now this will be three thousand one hundred, and this part will be three thousand one hundred. So the next one will not be on first call. I say they made first call, and they paid eight thousand. So first call paid to the bank. 8,000 and the bank received it on first call 8,000 
okay and shares was allotted to it so first score a thousand and it was received by first score ordinary share capital eight thousand so this balance itself so the next one is the second call which is what six thousand that was paid so pay to the bank six thousand the bank received um second call six thousand okay now the um shares was allotted to second call since they paid six thousand it was received so ordinary share is six thousand so this okay so we we'll now have to add up these parts now so it will now be 8 plus 2 10 14 plus 6 is 20,000 so it will now be the balance carried down here 20,000 so that I've added everything here yeah, is also 20,000 okay so now let's um balance up the the bank so the bank will now have here so we have um, 8, 8 plus 3 will give us 11 okay so 11 plus 6 will give us 17 so 17 plus 3 1 will give us 20,100 okay so we'll have a refund here so this is supposed to be 20,100 so we now have a balance carried down of what 20,000 okay so it will not be brought down here as balance brought down 20,000 so it means that the, the balance in the cash in the bank is 20,000 and the shares that was allotted was 20,000 because it is what um, 20,000 because it is 20,000 ordinary shares that was issued at one era that's 20,000 20, times one era is 20,000 so this is the amount in the bank and this is the shares that was issued so that is how to prepare okay so that is um, where we're stopping for today and in the next class we are going to see that that of a discount and the premium okay so we're going to see how to prepare that so we are going to also see um call in areas for future and also reissue okay so ensure you like this video comment share and subscribe to our channel now if you are confused on um how to solve this from scratch as introduction video and see this video here watch it thank you very much